The Champions League of Sailing returned this month to Marseille. For four years on the Audi Med Cup Tour, the French stopover has been the ultimate test of strength. Where the mountains meet the Mediterranean, conditions are ever-changing. And frequently, racing conditions challenge the sailors and their technology. The 2011 Audi Med Cup Grand Prix Tour stops at five glorious European locations. At the season premiere in Portugal, the circuit began its seventh season and celebrated an exciting new era in monohull racing as the new Soto 40 class made a spectacular European debut alongside the larger TP52. And with six brand new TP52s coming out of the build sheds for 2011, the Audi Med Cup standard has never been higher. American team Quantum Racing, skippered by America's Cup legend Ed Baird, wowed the crowd in high winds and won the first event of the five regatta series. We can't rely on that for the next four regattas. We need to make sure we get the boat going in the light, the medium, and repeat any heavy air performance that we had. So, uh, because we've still got 35 races to go. After such an epic start to the season in Cascais, Marseille began as a contrast. Shifty conditions were frustrating the tactical teams, while mistakes were creeping into crew work. Oh, that! No, starboard! Starboard! Guys! That's a blazing sail! But the world champions mastered the Rad Nord and fired home two consecutive wins. British Med Cup debutants Gladiator began the regatta with two last places, but their fighting spirit kicked in. After surprising everyone, including themselves, with a win on day two, they backed it up with another in the very next race. On paper, we should be eighth every time out, so, you know, it's quite nice when the underdog takes one. But things took a turn for the worse. A collision late on day three saw Gladiator pull out, with the Swedish Ran black flag disqualified. Gladiator's bowsprit had sliced through Ran's transom in the contact, and both returned to the dock bruised and broken. I think they just misjudged it, and, uh, and we did our best to avoid it, but, but couldn't, so you know, it's tight racing, it happens. We were very happy until uh, kind of this incident, really, which has kind of put a bit of a downer on the regatta so far. You know, the shore guys have got a long night ahead of them trying to patch it back together. But on the final day, Marseille's notorious Mistral wind wreaked havoc with the sea state. Winds blustered to an unmanageable 35 knots, and the course was deemed unsaleable. As racing was finally abandoned, the German flag team Container were crowned Marseille Trophy champions. A victory Marcus Visa put down to camaraderie and team spirit. We have just fun going sailing, and that's very important in a team sport to have fun. And if you have fun, you can sail very well. And yesterday on the long distance race, we had a fight coming from behind. And at the end, we won this race because we were just fighting the whole race and it just, was just nice to sail with these guys. Quantum Racing and Audi Azura sailing team claimed the minor placings, but the American boat still holds the championship title lead. The new Soto 40 class was a hit in Qashqai's. In strong winds, the boat surfed huge waves at high speed. But how would Iberdrola fare in Marseille's light conditions? Racing was tight. Iberdrola was taking on the hometown team, 22 Marseille sailing team, and South America's Soto champions, Patagonia by Negra. Both were in winning form in Marseille, but Iberdrola were the class act. For the second time this year, the Spaniards topped the podium. After a hard-fought regatta in Marseille, more turbulent conditions await the fleet in Cagliari. Next month, on Seamaster Sailing.